up with GTA Sports and welcome to another edition of GTA's ISO Mode. If you haven't already, make sure you follow GTA Sports Network and GTA Heat Check on all social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASports.com for all things in world sports. Now, today I'm going to talk about a team that has completely made me look. I never thought I'd say this. The Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, especially if you're Sixer fans. Oh, it's early. You can't do that. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Look, I made a video in the preseason. I probably did it during summer league. I mean, I've been talking about this team really since the end of the playoff last year. The Philadelphia 76ers are supposed to win it all. We're talking championships. You can't win a championship when your star player is injured and out for a month at least, at the earliest. See, what I'm afraid of... Oh, man. Okay, so those of y'all have been under a rock. James Harden will be out for at least a month with the foot injury. Uh, they got him in a boot. He's not putting any weight on it. He has some family matters to handle, so he hasn't been with the team. But... I have a list of players based on this article from USA Today, the Sixers Wire, uh, basically saying who, and this is an article by Kai Carlin. I'm going to give you credit for that. Um, these are three players that they have listed to step up in Harden's absence production-wise to keep the team afloat in the meantime. And was, I know, shocking. Joel Embiid's not on this list, but there's a reason for that. Now, players that they're going to expect to step up that have, either been recently added to the team or have already been paid and have to play what they're getting paid. I'm going to start off, excuse me, I'm going to start off with a player who just joined the team but has an opportunity to have a breakout season. Guard DeAnthony Melton. You may have heard the name Memphis Grizzlies, of course. Uh, he's still finding his way in Philly, so... You know, of course, he's had some awful shooting nights. In, like his 4 for 18 against the Knicks, for instance, last week. But, however, um, he does play defense. He's a defensive-minded guard. But we also, as if you're Sixers fans, you're going to want to see more playmaking and scoring. It's going to need more. Another name that you've heard me bring up a lot on the podcast with my man Antonio Turner, who and he, he has a love-hate relationship with this particular guy, Tobias Harris. <clears throat> he's already been paid. That's an $80 million man on that court. Every time he sits on the court, it's $80 million on the court, okay? But this player can give you a night where he plays well and gives you 23, 9 rebounds, 4 assists. No complaints. This was against the Knicks. They, I think they lost this game, unfortunately. But, again, that's going to be his norm. He's going to give you at least 29 and 5 for this next month and a half until Harden gets back. Because I'm, I'm saying a month and a half or plus because the minimal timetable that was given was a month. But we all know, depending on how Harden is not a spring chicken. He's in his mid-30s. And I don't know what his eating habits are now that he can't put weight on that foot. He may gain weight by not being able to do the workouts the way he's usually able to do them. <clears throat> we know players that do that. When they're injured like that and he can't put weight on a particular limb in your home with family, you're going to eat. So he may put on weight that may lead to other injuries that he's already had. Hamstrings, knee injuries, soreness, stiffness. He's got to hope for the best on this one. Uh, but while I'm on the list of players that got to step up, the third one, and arguably the most essential piece that's going to have a breakout season, I, I can make that prediction now, barring injury, Tyrese Maxey. Now, this is a guy I'm concerned about because he can give you 30 points. My only concern is how many shots does he take to get that 30 points? Now, that's the problem. He's not the most efficient shooter, but he is a scorer. Basically, he has to take turn the clock back and be the point guard he was before James Harden got there. That's basically what we're looking at. He's usually a bench spark. What we call somebody that is 
the leader of the second unit when it comes to scoring. That's what his role is when James Harden is healthy. Now he has to be the guy next to Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid got to give you 30, 12, and 15 MVP numbers per usual. Stay healthy, please, please stay healthy. Because the only reason you didn't get the MVP, in my opinion, outside of Jokic, and you didn't get the votes is because you, you're you known for being in. For those just tuning in, the three names I mentioned that have to do their job while Harden is gone. Now, it takes three people to match Harden's production, and that should tell you something right there. The Anthony Melton, who they just got from the Memphis Grizzlies this past offseason, Tobias Harris, who they paid $80 million, and Tyrese Maxey, who, who you know is going to get paid by this team because they drafted him. So he's... He's going to get paid, you know. So it's a given. They're going to pay him. Um, as long as these guys produce at that level and understand the sense of urgency that comes with that, the level of responsibility being put before them, and you put that with Joel Embiid's 30 points, 12 rebounds, and 15, you know, or however he does it, if he does 30 points, 15 rebounds, 12 assists, or 30 and 15, even an average double-double and give me eight assists, nine assists, because he's going to have to increase his assist making and playmaking in, abs in Harden's absence as well. It's going to require a team effort. It's going to require them to lock in on what Doc Rivers is giving them for defensive schemes because he is a defensive coach. So his defensive schemes are going to be implemented if you want to win. If you want to win, you have to play defense, something that the Lakers are figuring out but they couldn't get the offense to match the defense so far. I'm going to address them in a later ISO mode, so just hold on for that one. I need to do some extensive research before I break that video down because Russell Westbrook is having a resurgence ever since he came off the bench. They're not winning games, but he's not the reason, and that's why I'm going to address that on a later video. But as far as Philly goes, all right, if you would ask me right now today, do I got Philadelphia coming out of the East right now? However, if you rephrase the question and say, who do I want to come out the East this season, right here, right now? My answer is still Philadelphia. Because the one thing I haven't mentioned in this video is the key component as to why I had them Set so high with expectations this year, James Harden took a $15 million pay cut. It got him DeAnthony Melton, PJ Tucker, Daniel House, players he's played with in Houston, minus DeAndre, you know, DeAnthony Melton. And DeAnthony Melton is basically Shake Milton's replacement because Shake Milton has been too inconsistent at that position. DeAnthony Melton will come in and supplement what Shake Milton couldn't do off the bench. So he was getting underutilized in Memphis because they were guard heavy. So him being in Philly where they need a guard play to supplement Maxie's inefficiencies and where he lacks that because he's young, he's still developing. DeAnthony Melton plays way better defense than Tyrese Maxie ever will, you know, because he's not defensive minded. He's a scorer. He's, he's offensive first. DeAnthony can play offense and play make, but he plays better defense than he does offense. And he's more consistent and efficient at times. Still got to work on the efficiency, though. He's young, too, so he got time. Ah, if you would, again, if you would ask me who I want to come out the East, I'm going to tell you Philadelphia. The 76ers have done everything possible to give Joel Embiid the best chance to win a championship with James Harden as the, the, the co-captain. And, and the, the supporting cast is solid when healthy. But as of right now, Milwaukee is going to come out of the East again until further notice. This has been another episode of GTA's ISO Mode. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports, don't forget to follow us at GTA Sports Network, GTA Heat Check. This is Ty Slatter, and until next time,